I'm here today to talk to you about the anniversary of the Cascadia subduction zone earthquake that happened in the year 1700. So we're celebrating the 320th anniversary of the last major Cascadia subduction zone earthquake. That earthquake was a 9.0 earthquake which shook the entire Pacific Northwest. And it's one of the reasons why we know that Oregon is susceptible to these very large earthquakes and that we need to get ready for it when the next time it happens. And this is why we encourage everyone out there to be two weeks ready so that you and your family can be resilient enough to take care of yourself for at least two weeks after a Cascadia event. We don't know when the next one will happen. We know that we've had over 40 of these earthquakes in the last 10,000 years. The last one was about 320 years ago. So take some time this week to think about your emergency plans, check on your water, check on your food, check on your neighbors. So if you feel the ground shaking, and it doesn't matter if it's a Cascadia subduction zone earthquake or a local crustal earthquake, because that's not important when the ground's shaking. What you do is you drop, you cover, and you hold on. You get underneath a sturdy piece of furniture, you put, protect the back of your neck, and you hold on to the table as it moves around. Most injuries in the U.S. during an earthquake are caused by either people being uh, thrown to the ground by the shaking or having something fall on them. So we want people to get underneath something and to be safe. After the earthquake stops, if you're in the tsunami inundation zone, get to high ground as soon as possible. Don't stop to pack anything because you don't have time. If you're inland, check on your family, check on your coworkers, check on your neighbors, and then put your emergency plan into place.